All right, in today's video, let's check out some incredible drag and drop features on the Samsung Galaxy phones, which are going to be very useful in your day-to-day -day life. And I think you guys should check this out. Let's say you are inside the Samsung's My File application on the Galaxy phone. And here you might have a document or any other file to which you want to have a quick access. For that, all you need to do is just press and hold on that specific file, drag it, go to the home screen, drop it right there on the empty space. That shortcut is available right there on your home screen. And that's how quickly and easily you can do it using drag and drop feature. Let me show you this again. Let's go to the files application. Let's say this time I've got an image. I can press and hold on it and drag it, go to the home screen, drop it right here. That's how easy it is. Now let's say you are inside Samsung Gallery application and you want to copy and paste the images from one folder to other or you want to move it from one folder to other. All you need to do is just press and hold on that image, drag it and you will see these folders right here on the left. This entire strip will be available. Just go to the folder that you want to drop this particular file and drop it right there and you will get this option copy, move and cancel. I can tap on move and that file got moved to this specific folder. Now let me select multiple images here. Let's say I've selected five images, press and hold on it, drag it. You can see all five images are selected here. You can see these images here and I can just scroll through this and open a specific folder and drop it right here, move it and that's it. We have got all those files, all those images are inside this folder now. So that's how you can use the drag and drop feature inside the gallery application. Now inside Samsung gallery application, let me open a specific image here. Now we all know that we can clip this subject here. I can just press and hold on this and clip it. And after we clip it, we usually drop it here and copy it, share it and save it as sticker. Now instead of that, if you want to drag this specific subject to another image, you can just press and hold on it, clip it, and then just swipe through the images. Or you can also go back to any specific folder and open that image, open a specific image on which you want to paste this to and just drop it right here. You can see that a clipped object or the subject is right here available. That's another way of using drag and drop feature on the Galaxy phones inside the gallery application. Now let me also share another tip within the gallery application on One UI 7. Let's say I have opened this specific image. I can tap on this three dot button, open in other window. This feature has to be enabled on the gallery labs. And once that is enabled, you'll be able to open a gallery application on two different windows. And here I can swipe to open different images. Let's say I have got this image here and here I'll be able to drag and drop the clipped subject. Let me do that. I'll just press and hold on this. This subject is clipped and I'll just drag it here and drop it right here on this image. You can see this has been added here. That's another way of using drag and drop feature within the gallery. Pretty cool, isn't it? Next, let's say we have got a notification on the Samsung Galaxy phone and you want to open that in a split screen view or on a pop-up view. All you need to do is just press and hold on that notification, drag it, you will get pop-up option or you get split screen option. You can easily do that by dragging and dropping that particular notification. Let me do this again. I will just drag the specific notification and I'll drop it on the pop-up view. You can see that notification and that application is open on the pop-up view, which is pretty cool. Next, if you have got multiple widgets on your uh, home screen, you will be able to create a stacked widget by just dragging one widget over another. Let me just press and hold on the specific widget. I will just drag it onto the weather widget here and drop it here. You can see now we have got these stacked widgets. We have got both the widgets available right here on one single widget. That's another way you can use drag and drop feature on your home screen. Now here is how we can use drag and drop feature to organize the home screen. Now whenever we want to move the icons, we press and hold on it and try to move the icon here. One by one we usually do it. But instead what you can do is, you can just press and hold on an icon, tap on select, select multiple icons, press and hold on it. All the icons will be selected and you'll be able to drag all of them at one shot and drop it wherever you want. Pretty easy, isn't it? Let's do this again, select, select all of them. You'll also be able to press and hold on the empty space and drop them here. I'm gonna do this magic, check this out. Fantastic, isn't it? It's actually fun doing this, let me do this again. If I wanna move it to this space, I can just press and hold on this area. All of them will come right here, drop it, just brilliant. Now, let's say I press and hold on this gallery icon and we get to see these shortcuts here and I want to add a specific shortcut to the home screen. All I need to do is, press and hold on it, drag it, and that specific shortcut is now available on the home screen. Let's do this on the phone application. I'll press and hold on it. 
we got missed call option. I'll just press and hold on it and drop it right here. Now I'll be able to directly tap on this to access the missed call alerts on the phone application. Likewise, for camera shortcuts, let's say take selfie option. I'll drag it and drop it here. We've got selfie option right here. This is going to be very easy to access these icons. This is how we drag and drop the shortcuts and create the icons on the home screen. Next one is very interesting. Let's go to Samsung internet or let's say whichever browser you're using. And let's say you're going through an article and you want to copy and paste the text. All you need to do is copy it. You don't have to uh, tap on copy and go back to the app on which you want to uh, paste it. You can use drag and drop feature here as well. Press and hold on this text. It is copied. I'll go back home. Let's say I want to create a note here of the specific text. New note, drop it right here. As simple as that. Now let's say I want to copy this text from the notes application, drag it and let's say I want to send this on the text message. I can just drop it here on the text box. It is pasted. That's just awesome, isn't it? Very easy to copy and paste using the drag and drop feature on the Galaxy phones. Not just that, we can also select an image, press and hold on an image and I can just drag it. And let's say I want to paste this on the Samsung notes. I can just drop it right here. That image gets pasted right here. I can also send this as an MMS or I can send this image through WhatsApp. It's very, very easy. Now let's try this on WhatsApp. Let me open the uh, web page here. I'll press and hold on this image, drag it. It's copied. Now I'll go to uh, WhatsApp and let's try to drop it right here. Okay, I think on WhatsApp it is not working, but yeah, it's a pretty cool feature. You can make use of it on different applications. Next, inside Samsung calendar application, if you are on a day view, you'll be able to drag and drop the event. Like you can see here on Tuesday, this event is created at 8 a.m. I can just press and hold on this and drag it and drop it wherever I want. Maybe I will change this to 12.30 p.m. to 1.30 p.m. I can just drop it right here. This is how we can use drag and drop feature inside Samsung calendar application. And we should also be able to do this on the week view. Let's see, this is the week view. I can press and hold on this event, drop it wherever I want on any specific day I want. Let's say this is on 1st April. I will change it to 3rd April at 8 a.m. I can also adjust the timing here. You can see 7.30 to 8.30 a.m. I'll just drop it. It's done. This is how it works within the Samsung calendar application. These are some very useful ways to use drag and drop feature on the Samsung Galaxy phones. Let me know where you're aware of all this. Have you been using it? Drop a comment. And if you want to add to this, you can also let me know if there are any other ways of using drag and drop feature on your Galaxy phones. That's about it. I hope you have already subscribed to the channel. If you want to know your phone better, become a part of Apex community. Hit that subscribe button and do not forget to hit the like button as well. And I hope you have already downloaded our brand new wallpaper application Wallverse. We have recently launched this and there are some amazing wallpapers available on the application, both free and pro versions. You can go ahead and check it out. And do not forget to rate the app on the Play Store. That encourages me to keep adding the wallpapers for this application. So go ahead and do that. That's about it. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.